Thank you for the opportunity to speak in support of this package and provide support on this crucial matter. My bill, HB 4475, is a companion bill to Rep. Arbitz and seeks to strengthen our laws against hate crimes. It is essential that we recognize the significance of addressing hate crimes, not just as isolated incidents, but as acts that threaten the very fabric of our communities. It is imperative that we strengthen our legal framework and send a clear message that our state is committed to protecting the rights and dignity of every individual, regardless of who they love, who they worship, what they look like, where they come from, or what abilities they have. Moreover, hate crime laws serve as a means of empowering victims and fostering trust within our communities by validating the experiences that they have and demonstrating our commitment to their protection. This encourages individuals to come forward, report incidents, and actively participate in the pursuit of justice. These bills ensure that people who commit these heinous acts will be brought to justice more quickly and more effectively. In 2021, African Americans were the target of 43% of all reported hate crimes or bias incidents in Michigan. My district, which is incredibly diverse, is some is a place where we see acts where people do not even feel safe to report what they have experienced. And so they hold that and they carry that. And in some way it is substantiated that maybe this is just what life is. Maybe this is what you deserve. These bills say that that is not true, that we take these crimes seriously and that you do not have to be a victim of something like this. I am honored to stand with Rep. Arbit and Rep. Pori in leaning on legislation that seeks to protect my constituents, my community, my family, and so many others across Michigan. I urge each member of this esteemed body to consider, to consider the far-reaching impact that hate crime legislation can have on the well-being and security of our state. I urge a yes vote. Thank you.